What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box opening video. Today we're going to be opening some Topps 2020 Baseball opening day. Uh, you get these boxes at Target. I think they're Target exclusives. Uh, they're like mega boxes. Uh, you get 16 packs and you get one pack of red parallel cards. That's kind of what makes these worth it, uh, really. They're only $15 as well and you get 119 cards total. 7 cards per pack on the 16 packs. I think even the reds, you get 16. You're looking for the Lewis Robert rookie card, um, which is the same as the base tops rookie card, except for it's a short print in here. Because it didn't come out in Series 1, it came out in Series 2 for tops. So, yeah, it's pretty tough to pull, though. I do believe um, my buddy Brett's pulled a couple of them, but I'm hoping the fact that we bought as many as we did, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, not, we'll get one of them. Um, Base card parallels, opening day. I don't know which, I don't see short prints on here or anything like that. So I'm not sure how rare it is or how many packs you gotta open or whatever, but yeah. So we got 10 boxes of these. We're gonna crack into them, hopefully find some of the good rookies. I mean, you usually pull them pretty easily, but we wanna get the different variants, um, especially the reds. So we got Keith Terrell's in here. What's going on, bud? Sly ones in here, Cardboard Carolina. Yeah, I really like these boxes. I kind of passed them up last time. This was like months ago when these came out. I bought like one or two boxes and then I left the rest of them and I instantly regretted it. So this time I was there. They must have stocked recently because they had 10 of these sitting there and I wasn't going to let them go this time. So yeah, definitely want to pull that Louis Robert short print and also see what reds we get out of here. Arthur's in here. What's going on, bud? Let's kind of move these over. So, yeah, just basically looking for the main rookies that you're looking out of for the other ones as well. And then you also get a, the blues in here as well, which are really nice. There's a Max Muncy. Um, nothing else too exciting out of that one. Fun cards, they don't have as much value as regular tops, but just the fact that you get the reds out of there, that's really what you're looking for. Um, and then obviously that short print. Father-son cards, what's going on? Arthur, what's up? Open seven mega boxes and pull the Robert Robert. Very cool. Yeah, hopefully I get one. I got ten boxes, so I'm hoping to get at least one. Flatty Jr. That card and spring is sprung. Probably go through, you know, later on and organize these out, but just hoping to pull that card, man. Pretty much that's a fifty dollar card for what I what I seen on eBay. And then the uh, the red parallels of like the bigger names are like between ten dollars and twenty dollars, so they're not super pricey. Twenty twenty big league. I don't I'm not planning on doing that. It's just not really worth it. It's not that great of a product from what I hear, so probably not going to do that one. Bowman box? Yeah, I, I found a couple Bowman boxes. Uh, two blaster boxes, we opened them, and then a bunch of packs, but as far as the uh, mega boxes for Bowman, they're pretty tough to get. you got to kind of be there when they stack the shelves at Target or whatever, but and I don't know when they stock them. They, they've never been able to tell me. It's always like, well, it's just random. But Javier Baez sticker card. Haven't hit any of the rookies yet. This is kind of strange. Gavin Lux. Our first one. We got a Gavin Lux. Nice hit. That's what we're looking for. And obviously, like I said, these are going to be a little cheaper than the, the regular Tops rookie card because it's opening day. But yeah, looking pretty good. That's, I'm not sure what the PSA 10 on this would, would go for as opposed to the regular tops. Yeah, go Cubs. Don't know what else we're really looking for other than the color variants. I think you only get about two of the blue ones per box, pretty much. There's another rookie card. Whoops, he just fell over. That's not good. Another rookie there. Trying to look at all the different logos on these things. Monument card.
Bo Bichette sticker card. It's not bad. Set that down. Get that in the sleeve here. Ooh, I thought we were going to have a Jordan Alvarez. And, all right. GWOPO, what's going on? This is a different channel. Restock everything Thursday. Yeah, I usually go to Walmart on Thursday, so that's that's when they stock here. And then some weeks I would do Friday, but I'm not sure about Target, though. I mean, I've checked the different stores, and it just seems to be sp kind of sporadic. I just don't have the time to go out to all these different stores all the time. I usually just hit out my Walmart, and then if I feel like it, I'll go hit a couple more, but it's, you gotta be there when they're stocking, and then even if you get there when they're stocking, you can still get come up empty-handed. Uh, we got a Aquino. Very nice. So, our third big rookie. I guess the only one we haven't got yet is Jordan Alvarez. Should have one more blue coming out of here. Usually get two in a box. And we got Jordan. Nice. Two cards after Aquino. That's awesome. So just when I was saying, that's the only one we haven't got yet. I mean, obviously the Boba Shop base, we haven't got that one either. But very nice. Pulling all the good good cards here. Keep the silver packs for the end. Uh, I don't want to do that to anyone. Maybe there's a Dustin May. Maybe we'll open this one and then we'll save the rest of them to, for later or something. I don't know. Come on, where's this Luis Robert? Alex Bregman, Reese Hoskins, Mr. Metz. These weren't flying off the shelf. There's an, even another guy that walked up there and he didn't grab any of them, so I just grabbed the rest of them. Uh, Carlos, all right, let's see if we got a good one here, guys. Moment of truth. We got a rookie, Brendan McKay, from the Rays. He's a pitcher, so I don't know how much that's going to be worth. Tim Anderson from the White Sox. Another rookie, Andres Munoz. Luis Arez, nice. He was a good rookie last year. I have to sleeve that one up. Uh, signed 85 cards in my first pack, Series 2. Wow, that's crazy. Charlie Morton and Eddie Rosario. So not a horrible pack. I mean, we got two rookies and we got a Luis Arez. So I'm not complaining. We didn't get any of the big hits, but I think out of these ten boxes, we'll at least get one or two of the big, the big guys, hopefully. Because they worth they were worth pretty pretty good amount of money, but now they've. I mean, I know I looked at the Jordan Alvarez red and it was like maybe fifteen bucks. Same with the the Gavin Lux, and then I think both shot was 15 to 20. All right, let's get into another box here. Let's keep the fun going here. I haven't got any Series 2 yet. Um, I'll definitely check on Thursday when they do another restock, try to get out maybe a couple different stores and at least get some of it. I mean, I don't think it's going to, like, fly off the shelf or anything, but it might. <clears throat> Baseball-wise, my best pull was a Eloy Jimenez uh, Gold's autograph rookie uh, from Topps Chrome Update. Got it out of one of the update packs or boxes or whatever. I think it was a $20 mega box, maybe. And it got a PSA 10. I think it's pretty low pop because there's only 50 of them out there. And I think there's maybe only two PSA 10s, so... I put kind of a ridiculous price on there and just kind of waiting to see what happens with his career. I'm not like in a rush to sell it. So we'll just have to see how that pans out. But pretty sick card. Um, and then I also have a just a regular autographed um, Pete Alonzo, which I've come really close to selling because the price I'm asking versus what they've been selling at is right on the money. And people are, you know, starting to buy into more of the Pete Alonzo's right now because the baseball's starting back up. So I think if he he starts off hot, you, you're going to see a rise in his price, and I'll more than likely sell that car within the next month. 
I don't know how much the set's worth. I don't set collect or anything like that. It's just too much time and effort to try to put it together. It's probably like 20 bucks or something, I'd have to guess. Regular opening day is not really as good of a product as, you know, regular tops. All right, let's go ahead and see if we got any of the rookies. And did we only get one blue out of the last box? I think we did. I think we only got one blue out of that whole box. That's crazy. Looking for Luis Arez. And speaking of Eloy Jimenez, there he is right there. Bellinger, Verlander. If you guys see anything weird, let me know. Another Gavin Lux. Nice. So box number two. We got another Gavin Lux. Looking pretty juicy. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with the season with only playing 60, was it 62 games? 64 games, something like that. Definitely going to have uh, potentially a player, you know, batting 400. There's a J.D. Davis. There's Pete Alonzo, speak of the devil. Ron Keston Hira. Albert Pujols. Huh. I don't know how you could be able to tell if it was a short print. you think it would be backwards, but I don't know for, for, for sure. Uh, I'm not sure on the Gavin Lux. This is opening day, so it's going to be cheaper than the regular tops. I'd have to guess it's a buck or two if I had to guess, but I'm not sure. Best to just check eBay and see what lots of those are going for, like a 10 of those, see what they're going for, and then just divide it by 10. It's kind of the easy thing to do. But I haven't really checked lately. I know I sent a few of those off to PSA. I'll probably still grade them because it's still, you know, still a Topps Gavin Lux rookie card. It's just not going to be as valuable as the base tops. But I, I feel like collectors will still want them to maybe set collect or like collect the different variations or if they want to invest in something that's a little bit cheaper. Cheaper option. You guys don't mind hitting the like button. We got 10 boxes. Uh, we're finishing up box number two right now. Shouldn't take us more than an hour. There we go. We got an Aquino. Just like the last box, we got Aquino after the Lux, and then we got the Yordan. So we're looking for the base Bichette now. Very nice. Aquino. Somebody was saying definitely buy buy into him. We got a blue coming up here. Maybe maybe you only get one blue per box. I thought you got two. There's Yordan. Man, it's like all, they're all three in a row. The same order that we got them last time, besides the sticker of the Bichette. But Sick. And these are coming out looking pretty good. I'm looking at the corner there. Looking for any kind of weird bends or nicks. And I'm not seeing anything, any issues with these. So, Nick Slowlack rookie. That's a good one. Ozzy Albies. Judge. I just want to see that freaking short print, man. Ten boxes. Hopefully, hopefully we get one. There's Luis Arez again. Come on, Jimmy John. Ooh, what's this? Here's it just... Maybe the back of it felt a little weird. Jesus Lizardo. That's a good one. Verlander sticker. And let's see what the blue one is here. Sunny Gray. Wow, wow. And Tony the Tiger. No, his name is Paws. It's kind of a funny name. For a tiger mascot. The Gavin Lux is $3. That's actually better than I thought. So I'm guessing the Bechado would be about 3 bucks, and maybe Yordan's like 2 bucks or something. Aquino is probably a buck a piece. So they're not expensive. Um, but definitely worth picking up for the shot at that $50 card. If we hit one of those, you know, that pays for 3 boxes by itself. And then obviously if we grade it and gets a 10 or something, it's probably going to be three times. I'd probably pay for this whole opening. <laughs> so hoping to get one. I know uh, my buddy Brett got two of them, and both of them had, like, damage to the card. So that was pretty kind of a bummer. I don't know how that happened, but... 
to grade cards if they're new. Like these cards are the new cards. They're like twelve dollars a card. If you do over a hundred cards, if you only do fifty do fifty cards, it's fifteen dollars a card. That's only if they're ultra modern cards. If they're like five years old or they're like nineties, two thousands cards, you're only looking at nine dollars, ten dollars a card. Unless they're more expensive, if the cards become more valuable. That's when you gotta pay more money per card. But just cards like this are not super expensive. But this really modern stuff, ultra modern is what PSA considers it. Uh, it's more expensive because there's so many people sending this stuff off, and that just causes, you know, they had to raise the price to meet the demand kind of thing, and to hopefully, like, slow down some of the shipments to kind of slow everything down. And we got a Starling Marte from the Pirates Blue Foil card. Not bad, not bad. Christian Yelich. Where the heck is this Lewis? Arez hiding out here. Or not Luis Arez, but Luis Robert. I don't know if the, the short prints aren't backwards in these or what. Like regular tops will be, cards will be upside down. This is crazy. Cal Ripken, I feel like we already hit that Cal Ripken out of here. That's strange. Get some more sleeves out here. So we got Jordan and Aquino out of that one. We still got a few free more packs over here, so. Bryman's totally awesome. What's going on? Eli's got the whole series. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not a set collector, it's just not something. It's usually not worth the value. Usually it's just the key cards that are worth, you know, collecting or investing or whatever. Usually when the sets go up and then you try to sell the set, you're only getting the money because of the main cards in there. But yeah, we'll keep these uh, red packs and we'll do it all at the end. That sounds like a good idea. Here's Sean Doolittle. Ronald Acuna. Definitely getting some rookies here. I'm only pulling the big ones out though. There's another Lux. Nice. Been killing it. Seems like Lux, Aquino, and uh, Luis Arez, or not, sorry, uh, Jordan Alvarez um, are the three we're getting, but we're not getting the base Boba Shet. Very, very strange. Let's take a look at what we got so far. It's the same cards. Look at that. We got literally three of each card. Three of each card and not a single Boba Shep, besides a sticker, which doesn't count, it's not the base card. That's just weird how it's the same, same stuff. Makes me think it's gonna be tough to hit that short print if we're not getting anything other than the same cards here, very strange. All right, nothing super big hits on that, but I mean, getting, you know, all three rookies out of a box, I mean, you're getting pretty good value just with that. Not too bad. Good product for cheap. Yeah, because you're getting pretty much the same thing as Tops 2020, except for it's just a different stamp on there, and some of the cards are different. You're not getting, you're not getting all the hits like the gold and the num all the numbered cards and all that fun stuff out of Tops. But you're getting like all the base cards. You're getting the parallels. And then you get the Louis Robert, which you can't get out of Top Series 1. You can only get it out of Series 2. And this product came out, you know, before that one was out. So, I don't know. I feel like it's a good, it's a good fun time. For $15, for as many, you know, many cards as you're getting, as many packs as you're getting, for 15 bucks, I mean, you can't really beat that. Cheaper than a blaster box of anything. Four Bichettes out of seven blasters. That's crazy. <clears throat> of course, I usually buy the hangers. Sometimes you get a lot of them. But sometimes you don't. Really, our value is probably going to come when we open all those red packs. Hopefully, you can pull some of these big guys out of there. I'd like to have one of those. 
That'd be a card I might even keep on to for a little while, kind of see how their career pans out a little bit. So I'm just selling the card off real fast. So I feel like there's gonna be more people that get those and then they grade them. And they just want to throw them up on the market real quick and get their money out of them. If you hold them for a couple of years, they might go up in value. All right, see what we got out of here. Come on, Luis Arez. Where you at? There's Jose Altuve. Just throw him away. Raphael Devers. Boba Shet, we finally got a Boba Shet. So, <laughs> took us four boxes to finally get them. So weird. So then this box probably won't have some of the other ones in there. Ooh, it's kind of rough right there. That's always the corner I look at, that bottom corner. Or that's the black, because it just, you can see, just a tough corner right there. But, not the end of the world. Just hoping to get a good red that's going to be a good grade worthy card. Sandy Kofax. Cool looking. Nico Horner for the Cubbies. And we got a Miguel, Miguel Sano. Oh my god, I freaked out there for a second. The card was upside down. That's the first one we've gotten. Ends in 9 7. Normally it ends in 7 9. So yeah, we got a short print, guys. We got a short print. It took us four boxes. Miguel Sano. And. Place for the twins. Cool looking short print. I'm not sure. Doesn't seem like the box tells you what. Uh, it says WW11 instead of like the regular number. So that's. It's separate from the regular set. It has to be. Is this a short print? I mean, it says walk this way. Or is it like a walk that. Let me look at the box here. If it's a short, considered a short print or is it considered something else? It says, it says walk this way on it. Um, oh, yes, I have a hard time trying to find the one that I'm looking for here. Walk this way, insert. One in 369? No way. Holy crap, man. So, yeah, that's that's a rare hit, guys. Walk this way. Brett's in here. What's going on, Brett? I was wondering where you were at. So, if we find the uh, Louis or, um, Robert, is he going to be upside down as well then? I'm curious on that. He must be if he's short printed. But I didn't realize that was considered a short print. Walk this way. Because I've never hit one. Heck yeah, man. Columbo, what's going on? Yep. One in 369 packs. Crazy, crazy. Seven blasters and 30 cards. Bought the set online for 10 bucks. <laughs> That's what I mean. There's like no value in it to where, you know, the amount of time that you'd spend just trying to put it together is not even worth what you could just go online and buy it. Short prints are upside down. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, hopefully we can pull. What are the odds on the uh, Louis Brett or Robert? Brett, I'm, I'm curious on that one. Because we got 10 boxes and we're on box number. Is that box number 5? I don't know. This, this is going to be the start of box number 5 right here. And then we got all the red short prints at the end. What's that Miguel Sano worth? Whatever. It's got to be a, at least a $5 card, right? Uh, it's a very, very tough pull. Dang. Even with 10 boxes, I'm not going to get at least one of them, hopefully. It's... But I, assuming... If it's a $50 card, it's got to be a pretty hard hit. We got a blue. Uh, our only blue of the box is Garrett Cooper. Wow, wow. One per 20 box case. Holy crap. I didn't realize it was that hard. Uh, another Cal Ripken Jr. What the heck is going on with Cal Ripken Jr.? Keep getting that same card. Rosy Red. I know you talked about it, Brett, but getting the same like inserts it seems like in the same boxes is kind of kind of dumb. Man, where's all of our rook at in here? Not hitting them. Okay. And I don't get out to enough targets to find these, but 
I was lucky to see the 10 boxes sitting there and was like, yep, I'm definitely buying them. Yeah, if you hit them out of packs, Eli, they're upside down, so it's kind of nice. Kate Upton. I'm not too familiar with Kate Upton, but good for him. Do, do, do. I don't really follow too much Hollywood and all that kind of nonsense. Just a waste of time to me. Because I don't really look up to those kind of people, but... I like Dwayne Johnson. I think he's a a good influencer and has a good positive, you know, message and stuff like that. He's probably one of the only ones that I follow that's Hollywood. But a lot of them are just on some crazy stuff that I just don't care to. I don't care for all the fakeness. Supermodel, yeah, cool. Not really into supermodels myself, but what will you do with all those doubles? I don't know. They're all going to get bulked out. Hopefully get rid of them somehow. Oh, we got a Babe Ruth. And uh, that's Lou Gehrig, isn't it? Or look at the back here. Babe was one of the great games, great fun seekers. He loved to fit in rounds of golf when he got to Florida. Spring training also accrued time for to get in shape. Ride the exercise bike or do calisthenics. Um, heck, I thought he was really like out of shape and stuff like that, especially towards the end of his career. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's isn't that Luke Eric right there? I could be wrong, but um, yeah, Babe Ruth card, very sweet. Surprised that isn't some insert card. But oh, we got a backwards card. A Fernando Tatis Jr. The lighter side of baseball. Oh my god, it's <laughs> doesn't look like anything crazy good, but it was upside down. LSB10, lighter side of baseball. When you guys want to give me the rundown on that, because I don't I have no idea. I'll go ahead and look at the box here and see what the hit ratio is on this one. Lighter side of baseball, 1 in 740 packs. Holy crap, let's go. Let's freaking go. 1 in 740 packs on the... Fernando Tatis, man, it's looking pretty good, too. I don't know if it's 10-worthy. I'll have to look at it a little deeper, but that's got to be worth something, man. It's got to be worth something. Two big short prints out of 10 boxes. Man, Chad, what's going on, brother? Um, dun -dun -dun. Chad and I did my uh, spark plugs today, which took a ridiculous amount of time run into headaches but I just don't have the tools to do all that kind of stuff we got another Gavin Lux another Gavin Lux nice I think that's our fourth one so we got Bichette out of here and now we got Lux um, I'm not complaining though because we got those two short prints man Nicole what's going on welcome we got Mike Trout it'd be nice if there was a Mike Trout short print in here out of like 600 packs or something crazy this is nuts. Two short prints. Even if we don't get the Robert, I mean, I have to assume that Tatis is worth something. 10, 20 bucks maybe, I don't know. Brian Reynolds. Aquino, we got another Aquino. And Luzardo. We got a foil of some sort. Oh, it's a blue of Josh Hader with the long hair. All right, let's go ahead and sleeve up Aquino. Very nice card. How do you guys think he is going to do this season? Javier Baez. So we still we got one Boba Shet. Uh, we didn't get the Alvarez out of this. And there it is. So it's two cards after the Aquino. Seems to be the Aquino, and then you get a dud, and then um, you get the Alvarez right after it there. So... $10 on the Tatis, that's it. Man, that seems, for a card that hard to hit, it seems like a cheap price. Especially on a big player, second year card and everything. But, who knows, could go up in price later on down the line. All right, six, or five boxes down with two hits. Pretty, pretty good. 
What's the uh, Sano worth, though? If the uh, Tatis is only worth 10, the Sano is probably only worth like 5 bucks. We got, we're halfway in, 30 minutes. So yeah, I should be able to knock the stream out in about an hour. I still gotta get on and try to find some more boxes. I was gonna buy some more basketball boxes. Something, something fun to open on the channel. Whatever I can get my hands on for a good price. If you guys missed it, we did a box of Prism a week or two ago and pulled a uh, silver uh, Siakam and a base Siakam and a Ben Simmons out of the same box. It was insane. Probably a good $1,500 in cards. Maybe even $2,000 once I get them back from PSA. Uh, out of a box I paid 80 bucks for. It was insane. So... Hopefully those come back good grades. Yeah, like you said, Brad, I wouldn't sell it for ten bucks because it's I mean it's pretty hard to get a card at one in seven hundred something packs. You gotta think sixteen packs in a in a box. Uh you're talking what one in like fifty boxes to get one of those. So you're talking like seven hundred and fifty dollars in box rips. Seems like a lot to only get a card worth ten bucks. But yeah, if I get a Robert, I'm probably going to grade it unless it looks really bad. Are we doing better or pretty average here, Brett? I have to assume you've opened a lot more than this than I have, so. But I mean, just with the big stack of big name rookies, it's worth it. Just in that. And you got all the reds. You still got to open the reds. It's good stuff, man. Good product. See what we got here. We got another blue coming up. I gotta think the blue of a good name is gonna be better than a red. And it is Wilson Contreras. Nice. Brett wants that for his PC, I know. <laughs> Very nice blue cubby there. AJ Puck. Bo Bichette. Spring is sprung card. Yeah, it is all about the reds. A little bit left or right in the summary. Boba shit, spring is sprung. Not sure what that one's gonna be worth, probably not much. It does have the rookie card logo on there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get another short print, hopefully. And the base, Boba shit. So those first three boxes, we didn't get any, and now we got, now we're getting them. I mean, we got all four rookies out of the last two boxes, but. This was the one that we were having a tough time getting, and now we're getting them, so. Boba shit. I just sent his short print from Tops off. Hopefully, um, with the economy PSA shipment, hopefully that's not going to take four months. Hopefully they knock it out in like two. But we'll have to see. Usually it takes a month before it even gets checked in at PSA. Like, I sent it off today. It'll be like the first of... Uh, August before they even show that they have it and then it's gonna be another how many ever months after that before they get it knocked out kind of sucks but I mean a lot of those cards are going into my PC anyways most of the LeBron James rookie cards and then the big Charizard if that comes back a 10 it's going into my PC and then obviously the Bichette I'll sell it off I'm not really too worried about that one hopefully I mean the season will be going by then and maybe his you know maybe his prices will go up who knows yeah the blue does look good looks good with the Cubs the, re the red I'm sure looks good with like the Reds or St. Louis Cardinals or stuff like that like the Mike Trout or the um, maybe the uh, what's his name Pujols yeah, pretty cool looking cards. But you don't get any like the rainbows out of here. You don't get the gold short prints. You don't get all the other short prints. So, ooh, I thought that, thought that was a uh, our guy right there, but it's not. It's another White Sox guy. Hopefully we can pull him out of here. Paul Goldschmidt, Bregman, Benintendi, Rizzo. Otani, 
another Boba Shet, Boba Shet. So, yep, I think that might even be the, the same box, too. Two in one box. Same cards over and over again. Looks like we got another foil coming up. There's for Lander. Jordan Alvarez. So we did not get the... That's weird. We didn't get the Aquino. Two cards before it. But we got the Jordan Alvarez. Nice. I wonder what... How many of the home runs is like the best player is going to have this year. Like 15 home runs. 20 home runs. And a Eloy Jimenez. Blue. That's a nice one. I like that one. Gold cup card. All right. Not too shabby on the blue Eloy. Very awesome. Show you the difference there. That's a nice hit. <laughs> Look at that Rangers guy, Captain. The loose head on or whatever that is. For Lander. Man. Short prints are far and few between. What other short prints are out of here, um, Brett, besides those two that we hit? What's the um, Lewis Robert? What's that considered? Like, how many packs? Got these packs, and we got three more boxes. And we'll do the red. Then we'll do the red cards and see what hits we get out of there. Opening day. Yeah, this is really the only opening opening day that's worth buying is these mega boxes. Like the regular packs on the shelf, it's not worth it. I don't think anyway. Gonna be looking for some series two there this week though. That should be hitting the shelves. I, I didn't see any this week. I guess it came out Friday and they've been stocking on Thursday, so then it'll come the next week, I'm thinking. But I'm sure I'll find some. I don't think it's going to be super hard to find. I don't think I'm going to open too much of it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's see what we got. Tatis. Looking for the short prints. Mrs. Matt. Hmm. Strange looking one. Got Mark McGuire, very nice. Documentary was pretty good. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Another Boba Shet. We got our third Boba Shet. Very nice. Finally getting all the Boba Shets. I think I'm going to be up to 100 cards ready to go in for the next submission, but I think I'm going to wait. I want to do a bulk submission here pretty soon. I think the next one after that is going to be the ultra modern stuff. Because I've been, now that, you know, the, the seasons are going to be starting back up and you're starting to see cards go up. And plus, I've been getting some stuff worth buying. So hopefully, we'll get some good stuff to open and um, we're going to get some cards that are worth, you know, sending to PSA. We got a Aquino, very nice. Another Aquino, and let's we'll see if we got the Yordan. Nope, we didn't hit it that time. But we had the Yordan and not the Aquino, and we got the, the Mark McGuire again, same card. Crazy, crazy. See a mascot auto. What's a mascot? Sorry about that, guys. I I missed you there. Um, we kind of got knocked out there. Uh, Brett, you said a mascot auto. Did you see one? Did I miss a card that was an autograph? I don't, I don't think so. Autograph are one thirty thousand. Um, mascot autograph. One in two thousand. Hmm. If you seen something I missed, let me know. I mean, I'm gonna go back through the cards anyways, but I didn't see an autograph. You would think if it's an autograph, it's gonna be the card's gonna be upside down. Oh, I didn't miss one. Okay, but yeah, that would be that would be pretty cool to get an autograph of any card, honestly. 
I doubt the mascot autographs are worth all that much money, but kind of would rather have a player autograph. Still be cool nonetheless. All right, we're about to have a bunch of red books open at the end here. All righty. What do you guys think is going to happen this season for baseball? Like, what's what's you know what's the World Series going to look like? What's, who do we think is going to have the best team? Those are the questions we need answered. It's definitely going to be. I have to assume it's going to be a little easier on the players, being that you know they're playing like. A lot less games. Um, they're not going to be like a worn out coming into the season. A swing by a swing. All right. Let's see if we got another. We got a Ted Williams, and I guarantee we'll see that Ted Williams again in here. I just have a feeling. Juan Soto, Raphael Devers, Mike. That, that's a creepy looking one. Swing Fryer. <laughs> what a weird. Boba Shet. We got another Boba Shet. I think that's our fourth one. So we've hit all the rookies at least four times a piece. So that's pretty good odds. Buster Posey. And Griffey Jr., that's a nice one. When he was on the Mariners. After the Mariners, I kind of... I don't buy any of his cards after the Mariners. Uh, Cubs and the Yankees? Really? That would be insane. That would be insane. That would be fun to watch, though. I'd like to see the Cubs make it to another World Series. Definitely awesome in 2016. You must see that. And I was outside of Chicago. Not like Chicago, Chicago, but like suburbs, you know. And everybody was going nuts. That game was one of the craziest baseball games I've ever seen. Just all the ups and downs and, you know, just everything. The catcher, um, his name's slipping my mind. Uh, hitting that home run, like, <laughs> literally he was going to retire and he hit that home run, like, just made it over the fence. Just so much epic stuff in that game. Why can't I think of his name? Uh, game five at Wrigley? That's crazy. He went to a World Series game. Yeah, I've never been to Wrigley. I've been to um, only one baseball game ever. Yeah, Ross. Rossi. He hit that home run. That was just like... Can you imagine that? Like, You're at the World Series. Cubs first time... There's that Ted Williams. I knew it. Um, first, you know, first World Series in how many years, and then to win it and hit a home run right before you retire. Like, it's just this thing that dreams are made of, man. Definitely an epic game, though. I mean, just the ups and downs and everything that happened. It was. I need to watch that game again because it was being in the moment like that. It was just crazy. Trey Turner, uh, blue card. Nice. There's pause again. Well, let's pause for this pause card. Getting a s stretch of no rookies. Haven't seen the Gavin Lux in a while. We haven't haven't hit a short print in a while either. Uh, new releases in July. I haven't really looked into what's coming out. I'm just wondering if they're going to be doing, um, ah, what's it called? Basketball, um, uh, what's that chip, that set called that's like really cheap? It's like a really cheap set. I can't, I can't think of the name of it now. They, they have it at Walmart, or they did last year. But it's, I think it comes out later in the year. Maybe it might not even be making it this year, I don't know. But I don't know really what the sets are that, that are coming out. 
so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to look forward to as far as basketball and baseball are concerned. When's the Topps Chrome coming out for baseball? That's probably the next one I'll be excited about. Topps Chrome. But let me know. As far as like the sets that you would buy off Jose Barrero, Barrios and a Frank Thomas. Uh, as far as like the main sets that I would be looking for, stuff that you can only buy online. I don't even really buy into it. There's Nika Horner, Juan Soto, Mike Trout, <laughs> Kustin here. It's always the same ones. We got another foil in the same box, and it's J.D. Martinez. Late, late August for Topps Chrome? Man, that's a ways away. Two months away now. So that kind of sucks. And then what about Topps Chrome update? That's, or are they even going to do that? Because are, are they even doing t like regular Topps update this year? I don't know. And a Boba Shet right at the end. Nice. Boba Shet. We'll have to count the rookies up at the end. we got quite a few. I, I guess at least six of each one. Uh, Obsidian Basketball. Hmm. Obsidian Basketball. Is that going to be on the shelves or is that something you got to order online though? Unless they're just going to come out with update like later on. That would be strange. Because when does a regular update usually release? And then when and then the Chrome, I know that comes out later on in the year. Chrome update. Rizzo, George Brett, very nice, Eloy Jimenez, Mookie Betts. All right, we got one more box, guys. One more to rule them all. Game seven goes into extra innings, the way the team scores two runs, the home team scores one run. Cubs come back from 3-1 to win three straight games. Yeah, it was just that whole thing, like... They're down three to one. And they come back and win the world. Like that's that's some Le LeBron James stuff <laughs> when he beat out the uh, Golden State Warriors um, and they were down three to one. That was like insane. Nobody could have predicted that. All right. Update in late late October for update. So they're already saying they're going to do it still. Hmm. Interesting. Or is that when they normally do it? So if that's when they normally do it, it would be next year before we get it. I have to assume it's going to be at least three months pushed back. Two short prints, and the best blue card was the, uh, which one was it? That was... Oh, we got one blue one that was really good. Oh, uh, the Elo, I think it was. Elo Jimenez was the best one. Blooper. Yeah, if it's normally out in October, we're going to look at next year before we even see it. And then I wonder if next year's baseball is going to start at the same time it would normally start, or what's going to happen. All right, the last box. Last chance for our guy. We've gotten two short prints that are pretty rare, so I'd say we did pretty good. Raphael Devers, Spring of Sprung. We got a blue, and it is Brandon Woodruff. These All Star game, but there's not going to be an All Star game, is there? Pete Alonzo sticker, AJ Puck, blooper. And we got another blue, and it's a Cody Bellinger. Nice. A blue Cody Bellinger. Not every box you get two of them, so that's pretty good. Kind of a bonus card there. Cody Bellinger. All right, this is what we got left, and then we got the reds. Hopefully we can hit some good reds out of here. Because other than the rookies and two short prints, <laughs> I guess that's where our value is. 
I thought the Lucifer Bear short run would be easier than one in 20 boxes. That's like crazy. That means we're 50-50 shot at hitting it. And being that we're on the final box, it's not looking too good. Not looking too good at all. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Last packs, last pack magic. Pete Alonzo, Bryce Harper, Keston Hira, Babe Ruth card again, Pujols, Dustin May, Kevin Biggio, Schwarber, Torres. This is not a good ending, guys. Bryce Harper, Goldschmidt, Ben Attendee. Alrighty, we did not hit the short print that we were looking for. We got two short prints, though. I mean, this one's out of 300-something packs. This one's out of 600-something packs. So that's pretty sick. Um, probably $15 value total there. And then we got a bunch of Bichettes at the end. We didn't, we weren't hitting any early on, but we got four right there. Five. So I think we got five Bichettes. And then let's go ahead and count the other ones up here. We got four Lux, five Aquino, and five Alvarez. So only the Gavin Lux, we only got four is very strange all the other ones we got five it's so about one in every two boxes you get you know each one of the rookies one in every two box it's pretty good so that's 19 of those a couple of the different inserts there two short prints let's go ahead and get into the reds we got nine packs since we opened one at the beginning if you guys missed it i'll give you a recap here lewis arez and then we got two rookie cards and then there's that eloy and bellinger blue and then the other ones were nobody really big. So, all right. Here comes the money. Show me the money, man. Show me the money. I guess I'm just going to kind of open them all and then... Ooh, we got a good one there. Oh, man. I'm going to cover that one up. Don't want anybody to see that one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Making the suspense suspenseful here. Turn away if you don't want to see what we got here. So seven in a pack and we got nine packs. So that's 63 red cards. Hopefully we get one or two bigs here. All right, look at that. Let's get into it. Let's freaking get into it. We got a Raphael Devers on the first one. Nice. Raphael, and that looks good with the red. He's got the red jersey on. That's a cool card, man. Very nice. Check that out. First card is not too shabby. All right, next card we got Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Next card is going to be a Mike Soroka. Golden Cup card there. And we got a Mike Yastrzemski. Very nice. Mike Yastrzemski. Luis Castillo. Very nice. Oscar Mercado. Mercado, sorry. Oscar Mercado. Mercado. <laughs> I'm not used to saying these names. Uh, Lucas... Uh, Giolita, Giolito, <laughs> Lucas Giolito, and AJ Puck rookie card. Nice. Any rookie cards, we're going to sleeve them up. AJ Puck rookie card. Not too shabby on that one. Playing for the A's. Not too familiar with him, but sleeve them up. All right, we got M Miguel Cabrera, Tommy Edmond. From the Cardinals, another one that looks pretty cool with the red. Eddie Rosario, sliding in there. Eddie Rosario. Marcus Seaman, or Semyon, sorry. Sorry to call you Seaman there. Uh, Marcus Semyon. Justin Turner, not too bad a one. I'm seeing like a foil, like a line through it, so a factory line. Assuming these will probably have something like that. 
And there's the Jesus Lazardo that I've seen. That is a nice one. Jesus Lazardo. It's got to be a few bucks at least on that one. Another A's pitcher there. Jorge Sawyer. Royals. That's a nice one. Aroldis Chapman. Pitcher. John Lester. Is he still on the Cubs? Wow. John Lester. Very nice. Max Kepler. Max Kepler. Michael Brantley. Looking like he's about to catch that ball. Gary Sanchez. I get too many rookies here. We've only got like two. And as we said that, we get it. Uh, Adbert Adzale. Or El Alzale. I'm going to butcher a lot of these names. Oh, he's a Cubbies pitcher there. That's a nice one. Let me know if any of these are good. I mean, did we already get him? Didn't we already get a Trevor Story? <laughs> Doggone it. We're getting doubles now. Mike Soroka. And <laughs> we get that one too. Max Scherzer. We didn't get that one yet. Bo Bichette, let's go. The next card, we got a Bo Bichette. That's probably the best one we can get, guys. We got the Bo Bichette red. A little bit of spots on here. Just going to wipe her off there. The foil's looking really good. Uh, that's what you want to see. You want to look at that foil. Ooh, does have a little bit of a line right there. It's not, it's not bad, though. It's just a little bit. Kind of can expect that out of these cards. Ooh, has it got a little bit of spot on the back? Really, the toughest corner is going to be that corner right there, and it does look a little weak on that corner. But, yeah, about a $20 raw card right there, the Bobochette Red Foil card. That's kind of the one you want to get out of here. All right, so another Cubby. We got a Schwarber. Very nice. Hector's in here. What's going on? Another Cub. We got Craig... Kimbrio. Why is he? He's really leaning forward there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hanser Alberto. Hunter Reinfro. John Means. Gold Cup. Marco Gonzalez. Michael Conforto. I think we got that one as well. Walker Bueller. Josh Bell. Having a dry spell of rookies here now. Marcus Stroman. Kikuchi. He was kind of a failed rookie there. JD, JD Martinez. Max Muncy. Shane Bieber. No relation to Justin Bieber. Patrick Corbin. Alex Bregman. There's a decent one. I don't know why I sleeve it, but I'm going to sleeve it. Alex Bregman. All right, we got a Tyler Glasnow. Uh, Cattell Marte. Ken Giles. Doing a fist bump to the air, I guess. Bryce Harper. There's a decent one. Let's sleeve up Mr. Bryce Harper there. That is a nice one. And we got a Paul Goldschmidt right behind it. Nice. I think they land... Don't they usually land next to each other in the regular box, too? Yeah, he has to hate the Bieber references. I'm, that's funny. Paul Goldschmidt. And a Nick Senzel. There's a nice one. He was a pretty decent rookie last year. We're going to go ahead and sleep him as well. Why not? Nick Senzel. Pretty cool looking card with the red. Red on red there. Yon Mancata from the Sox. Michael Chavis, another decent rookie from last year. We've got a D. Gordon. Joey Luches, Jesse. I don't know how to pronounce that. Eric Hosmer. we got to hit another rookie here. Come on. Garrett Cole. Jonathan Villar. Jorge Alfaro. He's a good catcher. I think I had his uh, autograph card. It was his gold autograph card. I think I actually haven't even sold it yet. Man, I think I put, got under 20 bucks on it, so... Apparently nobody's buying into this guy, but... Nelson Cruz. Kenta Maeda. 
Dodgers. And we got a Pujols. Nice. Albert Pujols. I was talking about that card because he's in a red uniform with the red background. That's a cool looking card. Looks a little weak on the corner, though. Like I said, I think these cards are going to be pretty tough cards, but that's a sweet one, Albert Pujols. He's going to be going in the Hall of Fame. All right, we got like four cards left, guys. Joe Peterson. And we got a Kyle Lewis. Nice. A Kyle Lewis from the Mariners. Red card there. That's a decent one. I don't know what that's going to be worth, but I got to assume the big dogs are worth, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks. That one's probably like three bucks, four bucks, something in there, if I had to guess. We got a Sunny Gray. Cabin Biggio. That's not a bad one. Might as well sleeve him up as well. And a Kyle Schwarber. A couple of these have some. Pretty big lines in them, though. This one's got a big one right there. And this, you would think the card, his name would be like this. So you think the card would go like that. But it actually goes like that. So if you look at the back of it, like, take a regular card. And you flip it around, see? So that's how it's supposed to go with the name at the bottom, which is upside down. It kind of doesn't make sense, but... It is what it is. So, yeah, Reds. We did pretty decent. I mean, we got the Boba Shet. I would say that's kind of what we can expect. One of the th the big four guys, you might get one, maybe two if you're lucky. Uh, we got Goldschmidt, Harper, Alex Bregman, Luzardo. That's a decent rookie. AJ Puck. And then the other good rookie, of course, is Kyle Lewis. Definitely like the Bichette, though. That's pretty sick. Um, I can see that line from Missouri. It's funny. Two short prints, four Gavin Lux base, five Alvarez or Aquino, and five Alvarez base, and then five Bichette base, and then a couple different ones. So we did, you know, pretty decent. I'd say probably pretty average, which you know, because that's when you open ten boxes, it's going to be pretty average overall. I'd say, but yeah, I'd say we did pretty decent. 150 bucks spent. Um, used the Target card, so I didn't pay tax pretty much. So I'd say pretty decent for for 150 i mean as far as you know all the rookies that you're getting like i said 19 base rookie cards two short prints a boba shot red um not too shabby in my opinion but let me know what you thought brett says not too bad brett knows these boxes a little bit better than i do um yeah the red boat boba shot's nice and you can get these you can pick these up on ebay right now guys for like 15 bucks maybe Maybe 20 bucks at most. I mean, I, I looked at solds and I saw some for like 10 bucks, 15. So that's a pretty good deal for something that's, you know, you have to spend that much money to get the card. If you're just looking to pick a bunch of these up and kind of buy them up and hold them, invest them, whatever. Definitely worth it for this card, in my opinion, for that price. Other than that, that's going to be it. I'm going to hop on and try to find some good product to buy. So we've got some more openings coming up here. I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday, so I definitely want to do that. And um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.